this video we will try to solve a problem on uh, profit maximizing level of advertising expenditure quantity and price the question is like this let the demand and cost function of a monopolist is being given us this is the demand function which is p is equal to 100 minus 3q plus 4 under root a where a denotes the advertising expenditure and cost function is given as 4q square plus 10q plus a okay we have to find out the value of advertising expenditure quantity and price that maximizes the monopolist is profit okay so simple thing what we are being given here we are being given the inverse demand function is p is equal to 100 minus 3q plus 4 under root a this a denotes the advertising expenditure okay also we are being told uh, that the cost function is being given as so let me write it here c is equal to 4q square plus 10q plus a okay this is the uh, inverse demand function this is the cost function for the monopolist and sorry for the background noise i cannot control that very variable here okay so let's take it in consideration now we have this is inverse demand function this is cost function first step will be to find out the profit okay and we know profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost okay what is total revenue simple thing price into output gives us the total revenue minus total cost okay what is p p is being given us here 100 minus 3q plus 4 under root a this is our inverse demand function to this we multiply q minus total cost function is given us here so let me write it here we have 4q square uh, plus 10q plus a okay or we can just rearrange this 10 into q is sorry 100q this q will be multiplied to each of these terms minus 3q into q is q square uh, plus 4 under root a into q minus 4q square so multiplying this minus to each of these terms this becomes 10q minus a okay so let us rearrange this 100q minus 10q comes out to be 90q they are the like terms we can subtract them minus 3q square minus 4q square minus 7q square okay then we have plus a 4 under root a q minus a this is the profit maximizing equation for the monopolist sorry this is the profit function for the monopolist now we need to find out the profit maximizing level of expenditure and output okay so there will be two conditions first order condition for profit maximization will require us that the derivative of profit function with respect to output should be equal to zero first condition and second condition will be the derivative of profit function with respect to the expenditure advertising expenditure it should be equal to zero okay that means taking partial derivative first with respect to q and set it equal to zero and again taking partial derivative with respect to expenditure and setting it equal to zero okay so let's see how to do here so what we have here which implies uh, taking the partial derivative with respect to q here so derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 90 minus 2 sevens are 14 by power function rule this becomes q uh, plus the derivative of q is 1 so we are left with plus 4 under root a and we set it equal to 0 derivative of a is obviously constant sorry 0 because a is constant we are partially differentiating with respect to q okay similarly taking the derivative with respect to expenditure this time okay so since we have no a here so derivative will be zero here we have no a the derivative will be zero here we have a okay so this a can be under root a can be written as a to the power one upon two okay now the derivative of a to the power one upon two is simply this one upon two will become the coefficient we have a this exponent is subtracted by one this becomes minus one upon two okay or this can be written as a uh, one upon two under root a 
okay i have just explained the derivative of a is this very thing if we rearrange this will come out to be this thing so we have here four okay derivative of a we calculated this came out to be one divided by two under root a derivative of q obviously we have q here minus derivative of a is one so we are and we set it equal to zero okay now what we need to do let us solve this this is two ones are two twos are four we got here uh two q upon under root a okay is equal to if i transpose this here it will become one solving for q q is equal to if i transpose two upon under root a it will become under root a upon two we got the value of q in terms of a now what we need to do just plug this q is equal to under root a upon two in this equation okay in the first equation so just plugging this q is equal to under root a upon two in this equation we will get uh, 90 minus 14 okay in place of q we have this under root a upon two then plus 4 under root a should be equal to 0 2 1s are 2 7s are 14 so we have 90 minus 7 under root a plus 4 under root a is equal to 0 so satan valu so these are the same terms so this comes out to be minus 3a so we have 90 minus 3 under root a is equal to 0 which implies 3 under root a is equal to 90 or under root a is equal to 90 transposing this will get divided so we have which implies under root a is equal to 30 transposing square uh, under root it will become square on rhs so we have a is equal to 30 square okay so this comes out to be 900 that means profit maximizing level of expenditure that this monopolist should invest is equal to 900 okay and what is the output level profit maximizing output level so we can simply calculate the profit maximizing output level so just plug a is equal to let me write it here a we got 900 okay now just plug this value in this q function uh, to get the value of q which implies q is equal to in place of under root a we have under root 900 upon 2 so this is 30 upon 2 which comes out to be 15 that means profit maximizing level of output is equal to 15 okay and what is the profit maximizing level of price just plug the value of q is equal to 15 a is equal to 900 in this inverse demand function to get the profit maximizing level of price that means p is equal to 100 minus 3 the value of q which we calculated came out to be 15 plus 4 the value of expenditure we got here 900 solving this means we have p is equal to 100 minus 45 plus so this is a 30 into 4 is 120 okay so you can sana bane p is equal to this is plus 120 so p is equal to so profit maximizing level of price is 175 profit maximizing level of expense here is 900 and profit maximizing level of output is 1500 so we just use the first order condition if we want to check the second order condition we can also check the second order condition but that is not required here okay because we have only one value of q here okay so if we uh, want to see the second order condition so first order condition simply tells us if this is our profit function let us say this is profit function first order condition tells us the derivative of rather the slope of the profit function should be equal to zero and to check the second order condition we mean to take the second derivative and if that came out to be negative then we say we are at the maximum okay so we don't need to check that very thing here we got the result of 
clearly here okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share with your friends there is only motivation for me to keep going on okay i'm just making these videos you can see there are so many apps that are serving on and this platform that are uh, you know what we call that are helping the students but they they cost you handsome amount of money okay but i am just doing it for the sake of uh, what we call humanity to make myself more useful for the society. Thank you.